It was the step that marked the end of the space race. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But when Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon 40 years ago, it was just the start for the conspiracy theorists. There's no one consistent theory as to what did happen, but there are countless doubters willing to say what didn't the day man apparently landed on the moon. So how did it start? Here's a look at the big moments in the world of the moon landing conspiracists. Good evening. While the triumph of the Eagle landing was still fresh in the memory, the Watergate scandal erupted and Richard Nixon resigned. The saga shook the public's confidence in the American government and for some people, it shattered their faith in what the government was telling them. No surprise then, in 74, the first book dedicated to a moon landing conspiracy was published. The title by little-known author Bill Casing laid out for the first time the evidence which apparently pointed to a hoax from deep within NASA and the American system. The late 70s saw the arrival of the modern summer blockbuster as we know it. While the wider world was dazzled by their special effects, the conspiracists saw it as evidence that almost anything was possible in a Hollywood basement. And while the theories rumbled on through the 80s, they found a new lease of life with the arrival of the internet. As households got access to the web, suddenly there was a new and safe environment where theorists could share ideas. So search for moon landings today and you discover that in the small world of the web, the conspiracy theory is king. <laughs>